Hey y'all, Posh Cooper, LimCooper.com. I got a Coop Simple How-To today for you guys. I got the old uh, Poulin electric chainsaw. And today, I'm gonna show you how to change the blade or the chain on this saw. I have a tree on my roof. Look what's going on in my house. Yeah, we had a little storm. We're having a little storm. Look what happened to my tree. Split, split, right onto the roof. So, looks like I get to have a video on fixing up my chainsaw stay tuned i'm going to change this out so i can get to clearing that tree off the roof it uh, takes a 16 inch or 41 centimeter chain so i just bought this oregon generic chain it's made to fit poolands and we're going to put this thing on and then cut that tree off the roof keep watching and i'll show you how to change that thing out Okay, so the first thing we got to do is always make sure it's unplugged. We don't need any power going to this thing while we're working on it because we don't want to accidentally turn it on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this guard. So to do that, we need a Phillips screwdriver. And in this hole right here is a Phillips screw on the bottom end of the guard, chain guard there. Handy dandy little spot for my screw and my tool right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen this all the way up. This green is a wing nut. There we go, and that holds it together right there. Now we got it open. All we gonna do is just pull this chain off, this old chain. And let me get some rags so I can clean that thing out while we're in here. Might as well clean it up. Okay, I also grabbed the bar and chain oil while I was in there. So we got that. And now I got some silicone spray lube to help lube it up. And I got some uh, t-shirt rags. If you guys have been watching Nana, Nana's gonna be making a t-shirt quilt. She always makes sure I have lots of rags in my rag box for me. We'll go ahead and, and clean this up some. I've had this thing, I don't know, for a long time. And uh, the last person to use it was my neighbor in our old house. Kind of messed up the chain. So I'm hoping the bar's not bent. We'll have to change that too. I don't think it is, but we'll find out when I get ready to put this chain on, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna try to save some of this wood off this tree that's falling on my house and do Another spoon video out of some of that. Okay, so we kind of got that wiped down, cleaned up just a little bit. Now let's see if we can open our chain and put our chain on here. And I'm hoping this chain worked because I grabbed the one that said 16 inch Poulin. And when I was looking at this one, the model number is not actually on this. It's a 16 inch chain supposed to be, but mine says it's 1641. And this one says 16 by 40 centimeters. So I'm hoping it'll still work. If not, I might be going back to the store. Okay, everybody, so the chain I bought before, even though it said it was compatible with a Poulin chainsaw, electric chainsaw, I missed one little detail. The detail was the model number on this unit is a PLN 3516F. And apparently that F makes a difference. So I went back to the big box store and the chain I had was the only one that said it was Poulin. It had marked for Poulin chainsaws. So we got to look in and we found this chain, which is, the, it says it's the same length as the chain that I had, even though the chain that I had was clearly too long. But when I, it doesn't say anything about Poulin being compatible with Poulin on the front. And when you look at the back, there's only one Poulin model number that it's compatible with, and it happens to be mine, this this chainsaw here. So we're gonna try this, we're gonna do this again, take this apart, and see if this chain will fit on this chainsaw. All right, here we go. Got some leaves caught up in here. I wound up trying to use the old chain, and it was just so dull that uh, it just was not working. It was rusted out, so. It's the old chain there, so let's see if we can open this new chain all right so there's the new chain this is the old chain let's take a look at them and that looks right so, so let's see if we can put this new chain on there the direction this chain needs to go i will show you there's a little diagram on the unit it's the same colors of plastic you might be able to see it i don't know you can see it this is the direction this chain needs to go it needs to go by so based on that little diagram so it needs to go that direction and it's important to know which direction the chain needs to go because if it ain't in the right direction then it won't cut okay so let's see if we can stick this on here and put it on in here first 
And you can see I got this little sprocket in the back here. We gotta get around the sprocket like so. We've got the chain in the in the grooves on the bar. You can see the way this thing is designed, it's like to make it easier for you to tighten it up. So that's the bar all the way extended. All right, so now we got the chain nice and tight on there. So now we got to do is put our cover back on, tighten down our little wing nut here, tighten this uh, Phillips head screw back in, this little retainer screw. Okay, and then we'll cinch this thing down. So this thing is made where it's gonna, you know, over time it's gonna loosen up and you can turn this to adjust that bar however you need to to tighten that thing up so and then whenever you get it adjusted you tighten it down with this green wing nut right here make sure it's nice and tight chains nice and tight all right let me get a, an extension cord and just give it a test drive okay everybody got me an extension cord got plugged in to uh, see what we got here so here it is chains on chain works and that's it that's pretty simple how to I replaced the chainsaw chain on this full in electric chainsaw model number PLN 3516F. So if you got that model full in electric chainsaw, you need to make sure you get the right chain because the other one, even though it's the same model number, won't fit. And if you have, if you're going to Lowe's, it's the Oregon Advanced Cut S55 chain, not the S56 chain, but the S55 chain. I don't know what brand Home Depot has. They may have the same brand, I don't know. But that's the chain I use, and I got it at Lowe's. Once again, thanks for watching. It's Bob Cooper from LivingCooper.com. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button so you're notified the next time we upload. Keep an eye out for more simple how-to videos. Check out our other videos. And we really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch. Thanks. We'll see you next time.